we're doing cross crawl today, so or like bird dog is called sometimes. This is nice for core activation. This is a nice pregnancy string strengthening exercise because you're not laying on your back if you're uncomfy on your back during your pregnancy. So um, also nice for low back or ass eye joint pain. We're gonna add a little bit of a, a hand weight, a row to it too, as an as a progression, which can be nice for that cross body strengthening. So for me, I'm thinking about right shoulder blade connecting to my left glute, which we'll see. So. Um, in the cross crawl, crawl, we wanna make sure that that spine stays nice and neutral. So A, you're not super tucked, you're not super arched. And then we wanna think about the pelvis in this direction too. So as you go to lift your leg, you're not shifting your pelvis super far one way or the other. If you imagine that you have like a foam roller or something balanced across here, that foam roller is gonna stay nice and neutral and on your pelvis. And then we're gonna use your breath. So we wanna make sure that you activate that core every time you go to reach out to stabilize you. So you're gonna do a nice inhale and expand through the backside, that 360 rib cage expansion. On that exhale, engage core from the bottom up. So we exhale, pelvic floor, low ab engages. And then we're gonna do our cross crawl. So opposite arm, opposite leg. As my arm reaches up, my left shoulder blade can stay down and back. And then as my leg comes up, we're not going super high with it. So if we go super high, then your back is gonna arch, your pelvis might tilt. So the lower you stay, you can think about activating that glute while your core and your pelvis stays nice and neutral. And then we're gonna alternate back and forth. So inhale down, exhale, switch. Right arm, left leg, reach it back and out. Inhale down, exhale, engage and reach. You wanna make sure that you engage and start that pelvic engagement or core engagement first before you go to reach out so that it acts as a stabilizer to keep you nice and, and stable and level. So that's the first variation. Follow that breath pattern, 10 reps each side or go till you're fatigued. And fatigue might mean that like you're shifting a lot or, or things like that, can't keep good form anymore. So here we can add a variation of adding a, a row. So we're gonna use a hand weight I'm gonna just gonna do it on the floor, but you could also do it like on a bench or on one of those big exercise blocks, in which case you could reach your arm down past it and you get more full range of motion of that shoulder blade, but the floor is fine too. So again here, I'll end up doing, you know, 10 reps or however much reps you're doing on the one side and then you do a, another set on the opposite side. So I'm gonna engage my right shoulder blade and then my left glute. And we're thinking about that cross body connection between shoulder blade and glute. Okay, so you're still gonna follow that breath pattern. Inhale, fill into that backside, exhale, pelvic floor, low ab, leg reaches back. And then I'm in a row. So again, I'm, um, in engaging or contracting my right shoulder blade down towards my left glute. Here, you, you can kind of just tap each side down between reps, but still gonna follow your breath pattern. Exhale, as you push out, inhale back down, little tap, exhale, push out, inhale, tap down, and again, two sets to fatigue up to 10 or 15 reps.